So we've reduced the footprint of this file in order to make uh, memory usage and processing faster. And another thing we can do that we can use to clean up this file that I didn't go over in the earlier videos is let's hit the tab key and go ahead and type in delete small parts or most of that. And now what we can do with the game dev delete small parts is if we have this node selected and then turn on the blue square over here for visibility, you can see we have a threshold icon. So if I zoom in here and I go down to zero, you're gonna see uh, we have these little screws in our object. And you can also use this if you have any floating geometry or planes that you're using to kind of hover over your geometry for decal purposes. You can use this node to go ahead and strip those out so it's not interfering with your game res process. So if I, as I drag this threshold up, you're gonna see little pieces disappearing from my model and hopefully they're insignificant. And then as I continue dragging up, that threshold's gonna get larger so it's gonna start deleting more and more significant portions of my mesh. You could also invert this by same thing with the blast node. You can delete non-selected and then here's everything that I'm stripping out of my file based on that threshold. So again, feel free to use this node to delete insignificant small parts that just get in the way of the game res process. In this particular case, none of these small pieces really affect how we're going to move forward. For example, these little small pieces in here are just going to be voxelized with the overall form of these individual chunks. So this is unnecessary, but also a very cool node for you if that's something that you need. But I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And we're going to hop right into voxelization with that for each loop.